Actually, Bob, that's the bike I'm getting for my birthday. Dad said when I turn 11, I'll be allowed to ride on the roads. Uh-oh, he's gonna mime again. <laughs> Washington turns the corner at blinding speed. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating, kid. Don't forget that corner. He skids around the corner. Not again. <laughs> Give it a rest. Marston keeps a speed bump. <laughs> he flies through the air. <laughs> Perfect landing! What a champion rider. Hey, Ben left half a singer in here. I can't wait till tomorrow. Bloody glad wrap. It tastes like plastic. <laughs> When your birthday is, Bob? I don't know. Never really thought about it. I guess we'll never know. I know. You can have your birthday on the same day as mine, so we can celebrate it together. Mangy! Do you reckon I'll get a cake? Made out of pal? <laughs> he is too young to ride on the road. Come on, I was riding on the road when I was five years old. Perfectly safe. Yeah, well, of course it was safe. You grew up in Ararat. Well, there'd be heavy traffic in Ararat, Liz. A few cars, odd truck, ton of sheep. We are getting Ben an Encyclopedia Britannica on CD-ROM. Oh, great. So we can look up childhood and see what he missed out on. <laughs> Liz, I promised Ben a bike. I can't go back on my word. Have you seen the way he rides? He is totally irresponsible. No, nah, he's high-spirited. Thank God he inherited my road sense. You know, I've been driving 25 years. I've never, never had, had an accident. accident. Right. Look, until Ben can prove to me that he is a mature, responsible cyclist, no bike. And how's he supposed to prove that, Liz? Mime? Oh, silly. Well, excuse me being the voice of logic here, Liz, but it seems to me that if Ben needs to prove himself on a bike, he needs a bike to do it on. Doesn't he? <laughs> Hi, Candice. How you going? It's me, Bob. Hey, listen, come down here. I promise I won't chase you or anything. Guess what? Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh. Hey? Well, Ben's 11 and I'm older than Ben, so... What? One dry nose year equals seven dog years? Does not. <laughs> what? What do you mean I'm 77? <laughs> what? If I was that old, I wouldn't be able to catch you, would I? Come to think of it, I've never caught Candice. Did you know me, Dad? I'd go out of my way to make sure Ben had a really nice birthday. I love him. Yeah, right. Right. Well, I'm a little short of money this week. We give you pocket money every week, Max. What do you do with that? Do you think this complexion comes cheap? Moisturizers cost a fortune. Or do you want me to end up looking like Mum? Max, you don't have to spend a fortune on Ben. Well, I wasn't going to. I was just thinking I could chip in with your present. Well, yeah, you can if you like. Yeah, come in thirds with us. Well, that'd be great. Here's five dollars. Oh, might need a bit more than this. We're getting him a mountain bike. So, that's another 80 you owe me. I wasn't allowed to have a bike until I was 13. Ben's only turning 11. What do you want about, Max? Oh, don't come the innocent prawn with me, Mum. I'm sure I wasn't, Max. I happen to know Ben's getting a bike for his birthday. $250 worth? Who told you that? Well, I'm not about to give away my sources, Mum. I'm not like that. Dad. <laughs> well, you're wrong. But Dad said. I don't care what your father said, Max. Ben is too irresponsible to ride on the road. He's not getting a bike. Promise? Absolutely, positively, definitely. Well, I'll be watching. <laughs> wow, Ben's birthday present. <laughs> oh, he's gonna love it. I wonder when they're getting mine. Remember your first one, Jake? My first what? My first bike gave me such a sense of freedom. I mean, that's the thing that Lizzie just doesn't understand. Well, maybe you and Mrs. M should go bike riding together. 
I said freedom, Jay. Can you test me out of my road rules? Ben, just because it's your birthday tomorrow, do you expect everyone to bend over backwards for you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, why do you want to learn your road rules? Going for a drive? I'm getting a mountain bike. You poor, deluded little man. <laughs> Gee, I wish we had a CD-ROM. Wouldn't that be great? Uh, maybe. So many things you can do on CDs these days. You know, if I wanted to look up, say, Tyrannosaurus Rex, I'd just uh, put in the Encyclopedia Britannica CD and there it'd be. Mum? No more looking up those books. I'd like that. Would it have this in the Encyclopedia, Mum? <laughs> ben, have you any idea how dangerous it is out there on the roads? Of course. You drive me to school every day. <laughs> there are a lot of idiots out there. I know all my road rules. Give me any question. Well, why didn't you apply yourself like this when you were doing the bike ed course? I did. You mucked around. All the kids did. It was their fault. Oh, so if other people on the road drive like maniacs, you'll do the same thing. <laughs> then mastering the art of doing donuts during bike ed is irresponsible. It took me two weeks to learn how to do that. Well, if you're ever going to ride on the road, you'll need to be more responsible than that. I will be. Look, it's not that we don't trust you. I am getting a mountain bike, aren't I, Mum? Nearly home. Wonder where Candice is. <laughs> I think I'll bite her. And because the roads are so full of idiot drivers... No cat calls me, 77, and gets away with it. Where is she? There she is! Shot, Steve. <laughs> what was... I'll go, will I? Yeah, OK, Jake. I'll go too. Steve! What happened? Cat. Cat? What cat? Next door's cat, Mrs M. Candice. She's dead. I mean, we caught it, didn't we? No, oh, I better go check. That's a way, Jake. Grab her! Don't let her get away. She's playing possum. <laughs> Come on, Candice. Get up. Try and make a run for it. Let me chase you. Come on. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing? That's not how the game goes. Take her next door. Yeah. Can we finally catch her and he helps her to escape? <laughs> Gee. That could have been you, Bob. Jake's on her side. <laughs> Dad! Dad, it's great! It's the best work in the world. Thanks, Dad. I've been driving for 25 years and I have never, never had, had an that. accident. <laughs> well, I haven't. You have now. Have you ever thought of grief counselling? You'd be terrific. <laughs> it just goes to show how easily these things can happen. Oh, that is exactly what I've been trying to tell you. It happened so fast. It was over. Ben's not ready for that. He needs time. The bike will have to go back. The trouble is he's already seen it. Yeah, but if, if you take it back straight away, <laughs> he won't even remember. Me? <laughs> no way. You take it back. Oh. Well, you have to get back and do a car sometime. Yeah, you're right. I'll get Jake to drive. <laughs> Benny! <laughs> Sit down, mate. Um. Uh, now, Ben, we'd like to have a talk with you. 
What's up? Ben, I want to have a chat with you about, um... Why don't I start at the beginning? You promised I could have a bike. You promised. Yeah, that's correct, mate. That's dead right. That's right, and you should never go back on a promise. <laughs> but there are special times when you can go back on a promise. No, you can't. Dad said you can never go back on a promise, right, Dad? How I say that? That's right. Quite clearly you said it. Why'd you say that? Well, because, uh... Because it's true. You should never go back on a promise. And Dad promised I can get a bike. And I've got one. Mm. <laughs> ben, there are some things which are more important than promises. That's right. Are there? <laughs> but Dad no, said but your father's not always right, Ben. But that's right. She's right. You listen to your mother. <laughs> Sometimes when you're a parent, you have to make decisions that you don't like because the most important thing is your welfare. Brilliant! <laughs> that's right. You listen to this, mate. You saw what happened outside, Ben. The roads are dangerous places. But I'll be really careful. Oh, careful people have accidents all the time. All the time. <laughs> I mean, look at Nancy Kerrigan. That wasn't an accident. And how careful were you during bike head? She was mugged. You just don't trust me. No. No, no. no I wouldn't put it like that. Well, I would. And don't bother buying me a present at all. It went well. <laughs> Go on, Candice, let's have ya! All right, that was a good trick with the car, but you wouldn't have got away if Jake hadn't have helped you. Come on! I dare you to try it again! Candice? Strange. Oh, I know. Bluffing! <laughs> Gee, that usually works. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen Candice, have you, Ben? It's like she's disappeared off the face of the earth. I hate being 11. I wish I could go from 10 to a teenager. Everyone still treats me like I'm a kid. Well, you are a kid. <laughs> I wish I can be old like you, Bob. Old? What do you mean? My dog book says you age seven years every year. I wish I could do that. Seven years every year? That, that's what Candice said. How can that be? If I was your age, I'd have to treat me like I'm an adult. You mean, I really am 77? <laughs> what happened to my youth? What happened to middle age? Why do I suddenly feel the urge to knit? And I don't even have any fingers. There's only one thing for it, bub. A knitting machine? They want me to prove that I'm mature enough to ride on the road. Well, OK, I will. 77. <clears throat> Better keep moving. Watch for Mum and Dad. OK. I hope I don't nod off. I'll show them, bub. Um... Ben, shouldn't you ask if you're allowed to ride on the road? Ah, oh, these young pups. You can't tell them. I took Candice next door and explained what happened. What did Harvey say? Well, he said he blames you entirely. He's never really liked you and... and not to expect your secateurs back too early. So it makes me feel a lot better. Steve? It's getting late. Shouldn't you be taking the bike back? Take it back? Yeah, we had a change of heart, Jake. Oh, oh what a shame. Maybe you should get him a basketball instead. What for? Well, because I got him a puncture repair kit. <laughs> oh, well, that's very thoughtful of you, Jake. I'm sure he'll find a use for it. Yep, never know when your CD-ROM's gonna get a blowout. How am I ever, ever, ever supposed to trust you people? You, I can't believe you. My parents are so untrustworthy. <laughs> Hi, Jake. What's wrong now, Max? <laughs> you told me Ben wasn't getting a bike. He's not. Oh, really? Oh, so then the boy I saw riding a brand new mountain bike down Hill Street, wearing Ben's clothes and yelling out, Hi, this was a mirage, I suppose. <laughs> are you sure? Well, 
Well, I think I'd know my own brother if I saw him. I want my five dollars back. <laughs> ah, young folk, always in a hurry. Oh, look at that, she's driving the ute. You don't see that every... Coming up on Taz TV, more comedy on Married With Children, followed by the premiere special... You've had a shock, mate. And your mum's had a shock. I think we've all learned something from this. The, uh, the bike will have to go back, mate. Fair enough. Yeah, I think we all agree. <sighs> Wasn't a good idea. Maybe next year. Or the year after. Yeah. He should have the bike. What? <laughs> what matters now is getting Ben's confidence back. What good's confidence if he's squashed on the road, Liz? He wasn't squashed. He avoided the collision. His reflexes were good and he handled the bike well. Hey, you said it yourself. He's irresponsible. How's he ever going to learn responsibility if he doesn't have the bike? <laughs> Didn't think of that, did you? Well, there must be some sort of computer simulator bike he but can learn on. He's got to have that bike. If he doesn't, he, he could end up having a complex about riding for the rest of his life. There you go, matey. I want you to have the bike. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. For tomorrow. <laughs> it's all right. I'll just have a basketball. It's OK, matey. No more mucking around. <laughs> it's all yours. I thought you were getting me Encyclopedia Britannica for the CD-ROM. Oh, no. That was just to put you off the track. Fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really educational. Read books. <laughs> oh, but not right now. Now you need to get out more. Ride. You said it was dangerous on the roads. You said so. <laughs> well, your mum was just exaggerating. I mean, look at me. Never had an accident. Well, until today. But that was just a, you know, small. Hey, Ben. It's from me and Jake. We're going halves, aren't we, Jake? It's a puncture repair kit. Mm, happy birthday, Ben. I won't need this. Don't be ungrateful, Ben. We went to a lot of trouble to get this. It's in a leather pouch, and it's got my name on it. A leather pouch? Real leather? You didn't say it was real leather, Jake. <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Uh, a pencil case. Well, what's a leather pouch worth? Not cheap, Max. Not cheap. <laughs> He'll be fine, Benny. Keep your eyes on the road. Just stay close to the curb. I don't like it. I never like bikes. Ah, you'll be fine. Give it a go. Go and give it a go. Easy does it. I don't know where these youngsters get their energy. <laughs> Good one. And Jake, what you got there? Well, it's a cat, Mr. M. A cat? Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Jake. You like her? Yeah. My landlady had a whole litter. Amazing woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get it. I thought I'd give it to the people next door. Her name's Bernice. Oh, that's a lovely thought, Jake. Don't worry about me, Bernice. I'm too old to chase you. <coughs> Bernice? <laughs> Suits her. <laughs> Tell you what, I've been meaning to have a word with Harvey. Maybe I could take the cat in there for you. Oh, that's OK, Mr M. She's only got nine lives. Don't worry, I'll say she's from you. And get those secateurs! Look at me! <laughs> What a great bike. Must be the luckiest kid in the world. Ah, you'll have to speak up, kid. The old ears aren't what they used to be. <laughs> oh, but... I was going to save this till tomorrow. But... I've got mine. So... Here's yours. For me? Gee, if I had fingers, I could probably open it. <laughs> Here, I'll open it. OK. <sighs> what is it? Right, let me guess, let me guess. A knitting machine. No, no, that's stupid. It's, it's too small. I know, I know. A bike. No, I can't ride. Uh, I know. One of those things that go on your head. Uh, 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 a hat. Oh, I knew it. How do I look? Cool? Happy 21st birthday, Bob. 21st? Oh, I thought I was 77. You may not exactly be 21, but the vet said you were only three, so three times seven equals 21. 21? 
Wow. I'll be able to drive. <laughs> Join Taz TV 8.30 Thursday when Emmy nominee Jane Seymour stars in Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, America's favourite family series. But stay with us now for the Bundys on Valentine's Day in Married with Children.